Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. Well, our May celebration of health continues. We have great holistic health topics for the entire month. You know, many of you watch this program to learn more about how to attain good health, maybe how to help pull yourself out of sickness. That's what this program is all about. It is to empower you with knowledge that can improve your health, your family's health, and your loved ones and those in your community and church groups. Very important material on this program, but you have to pay attention. Yeah, you have to learn, you have to do your homework, and you have to apply it to your life. You know, we can only do so much in education. The next step is making it practical into your life. See, that's, that's the critical step. On today's program, we want to talk a little bit about having healthy skin the natural way. Cindy will join us in the kitchen. She has a great panna cotta recipe that you're going to love. Very tasty. We have a lot of fun making these uh, recipes for you. Plus, we'll be taking your calls. We're going to leave considerable time on this program to take your calls. So many want to get in for that. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. A children's song recommends that we let the sunshine in to increase our happiness. And new research from Stanford confirms the saying. The study went against popular thought and determined a little sunshine does not contribute to skin cancer but may actually help prevent it. They found moderate doses of sunlight causes the body to synthesize vitamin D, which in turn directs the immune system to repair sun damage. The research suggests 30 to 60 minutes of sun exposure or supplementing with 1,000 units of vitamin D daily is enough to boost the immune system into repairing sun-damaged skin. The report went on to state that melanoma patients who expose their skin to the sun every day have higher survival rates. Folks, this line of thinking is contrary to popular belief that sunlight is bad for our skin. Now, the authors of this study proclaim a strong warning with their new findings. They state never allow your skin to burn, and that makes sense but rather slowly develop a light tan. Now, the evidence is mounting that sunlight and vitamin D are good things, and we need more of both. Now, our following story reflects another new approach to dealing with sun damage. Eating green leafy vegetables may reduce the risk of skin cancer recurrence by as much as 55%, finds new research from the Queensland Institute of Medical Research in Australia. The 11-year study found those who ate at least three servings of green leafy vegetables per week, such as spinach or chard, more than half their risk of skin cancer recurrence. The researchers explained the vegetables contain a wide array of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, which reduce cancer risk. Skin cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer worldwide. Folks, this is a real eye-opener, isn't it? You know, for the past 30 years, we've exclusively focused on protecting our skin with topical sunscreen. But as these reports clearly state, the best sunscreen is a healthy diet and a light tan. And when we consider all the other health benefits of green leafy vegetables, well, the conclusion is obvious. Eat your greens because they're good for you. Now, a major part of what makes fruits and vegetables so good is their antioxidant content. And our following story has more on that in healthy skin. With the health benefits of grapes and grape juice at the forefront of health news, scientists from the University of Alabama have yet another surprising health benefit of grapes. They found certain chemicals in grape seeds help to ward off sunlight-induced skin cancer. The researchers exposed hairless mice to ultraviolet light. Some of the mice were fed a standard diet, while others were received grape seed extract in their feed. The mice given the grape seed extract had 65% fewer tumors than the control mice, and if the grape seed extract fed mice did develop a skin tumor, it was 78% smaller. Isn't this amazing? See, folks, the grape seed contains oligoproanthocyanidins, or OPCs, and they are powerful antioxidants that researchers believe boost the skin's ability to repair itself. It's also important to note that researchers did not apply the OPCs topically on the skin, but rather they put the OPCs in the mice's feed, thereby creating a systemic skin-enhancing effect. Now let's review what we've learned from today's news. First, we've learned that contrary to popular opinion, a little sun exposure actually helps to prevent skin cancer by raising our vitamin D levels. Second, we found if you have a history of skin cancer and you begin to eat more leafy green vegetables, you can reduce your, your chance of skin cancer recurrence by over 55%. And third, supplementing with grape seed extract can dramatically reduce your risk of skin cancer occurring in the first place. See, folks, beauty and great skin really do come from the inside out. Well, today on Your Health, we'll discuss the secrets of healthy skin the natural way. Plus, Cindy joins us in the kitchen for coconut panna cotta. Coconut panna cotta. This will be fun. Join us, won't you? <laughs> 